Welcome back folks. I hope all of you are doing well. Today I'm going to bring a very interesting and very demanding topic to all of you. I got so many comments uh, asking for this subject to be addressed. So I'm finally uh, bringing a video around this topic as well. Solutions to fix Excel files which are huge. That is a very common question that I get from, from the subscribers. And what are the possible solutions for that? I'm going to bring step-by-step -step approach today to make you understand how you can fix these issues. So first and foremost, I will bring multiple ways to reduce the huge Excel files. So I will share some tips around how you can manage to fix your Excel uh, files for yourself. Then I will bring um, another option that is one of my personal favorites that's using Stiller Repair for Excel. And that's also a sponsor for our video today. I'm going to share their uh, solution that can help you to reduce and repair Excel files, which, which are huge in size. Um, then I, I'm, I'm going to share with you reasons, um, a few of them, that why uh, your Excel file is huge and, um, and, and excessively large without any reason. Th those reasons, if you understand them, you can definitely look around uh, your Excel files. There can be multiple of them. And the last but not least will be the guidelines to work on um, huge Excel files without crashing. So I know often your Excel files are crashing. So how to avoid that? We'll look into that as well. So these four major sections we will cover in this video today. So without any further ado, let's press ahead. So let's start with the ways to reduce your Excel file size. So I will share a few tips. As you can see on the screen, there are multiple tabs that I've been using in this file, some dump pic pictures, some data dumps, some empty pivot tables, etc. I would recommend to keep your Excel files tidy. So remove unnecessary worksheets or unnecessary data from your files. Keep it away. So it's okay while you're working rough on your um, Excels, but when you're done with that, Keep a very clean and very, I will say, smart file so that it's not carrying unnecessary data and definitely unnecessary worksheets and data brings a huge size addition to your files. Second tip I would like to highlight is the file formatting. That's very important when you're working on huge data in Excel. For huge data files, I would recommend to use XLSB. That's the ideal format that you may use to reduce the file size you have and Trust me on that, if you have a huge file size and you convert that into XLSB, it will reduce considerably. Considerably means huge data saving here. So how you can do that? Simply, you click on File, Save As, and then when you get the options over there, you simply select which is the best. And down there, you can see XLSB format. This is your format for a small size Excel file. XLSB is the ideal format you should use. XLSB, don't forget that. Now, let's move on with our next uh, tip around this topic. And I would also recommend to remove unnecessary format uh, formulas as well. So what, what, is, what does this mean by formula? So for example, I have this data dump file. I don't know. There are certain formulas which I don't know where they exist, uh, but I want to remove them. So F5 key is going to be your best friend. Press F5 key. Now let me press here, and you should be able to see this go to menu. Click on to the special. When you reach the special, there is a functionality here on number three formulas. Click on this, and the moment you click on it, it will show you all, or rather select all the cells with the formula. You simply put a color on it so that you don't forget it. And now you can see on this particular spreadsheet how many cells are with the formula. And if you believe it is considerable to remove the formula, remove it so that you have reduced size. The more formulas you have, the more, um, let's say, size of your file it will have. The next technique is also very important. When we look at the summary here, there is one image in the file. Please make sure that you compress the pictures in your uh, files. If you are keeping some um, Excel pictures to substantiate your data, it's very important that you remove um, the, 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 the additional size of those files as well. So uh, simply go to click on the file or the picture itself, click on the format and there is a function called compress picture. Click on that one. When you compress, you have to select the bare minimum size. And in my opinion, if you select the email one, this is the most convenient 
to select in an Excel uh, file to keep the lim limited size or least size of your picture over there. However, when you're doing that, don't remember to unclick this, apply only to this picture, because if there are other pictures in your Excel workbook, Excel will automatically bring all of them to this particular format that you see here. So if I click OK, all the pictures in this file, for example, here I had some pictures as well, all of them have been converted into a smaller format or a smart format of um, data size. Pivot tables play a lot of important role in your Excel spreadsheet. And it's also very important that you keep the cache size of uh, pivot tables in control. So for example, if I have this Excel uh, pivot table, I'll simply go to pivot, pivot table analyze part, click on the options and you will see pivot table options. In pivot table options, there is one tab for data. Look at that. This is, this is very interesting. As you can see, uh, save source data with the file. That is basically the cache. And we don't need this cache because Excel is actually keeping a copy of your data as a cache for the memory of your pivot tables. M make sure this is unticked always. And also you can click here, refresh data when opening a file. So whenever the file will open, it will get you a fresh data you'll not see. So it avoids actually to mistake the data with the missing updates. You simply have to press OK, and then after this, you will not have any cache in addition of your Excel files. This cache removal definitely helps. So this is one of my, let's say, high recommendations. Um, with this uh, technique, I would also suggest that you remove the formatting of the data if it is not necessary. For example, uh, if I go to the rough work here, I have here some some conditional formatting. You can see here uh, there's a conditional formatting rule in place. This conditional formatting, if it is not necessary, when you're sharing data and if it's not necessary, just basically delete it, remove it, because then it will keep your data simple. And my next tip is using Excel Repair Tool by Stellar. As you can see on your screen, uh, this link is also available in the description. You can download this software for free and then you can use it, preview it, and if you enjoy that, you can definitely buy this as well. Um, I've got my copy, and I would recommend you to get a copy of this as well. Why? Because there are so many um, features in this Excel repair tool. Um, and on top of that, as you can see down here, there's a feature of fixing the large files. This is a very interesting feature. And now I'm going to show you how you can utilize this in your spreadsheets. So folks, this is the file that I want to reduce the size of. As you can see on your screen, it's around uh, 500 KB. Uh, the limitation is that I want to upload it on a website where the limit is 500 KB and below. So this cannot go up there. So how we can reduce it, let me showcase. So now I have my application in front of you. You can see it on your screen. I'll simply have to click on the browse, clicked on the browse button and you can see the file here that I have. Uh, for upload and testing, I click on it and I put it here for repair. Simply, I clicked on the repair and it has started repairing my Excel spreadsheet over there. Um, it will take only a few moments and the repair has been completed. I'm back here on the Excel spreadsheet uh, file here. You can see the size here. I will just refresh and see where we are with the file size and it will show in a moment. Um, here we go. So it is 112 KB now after this uh, refresh done by my application that is Stellar Repair for Excel application. You have seen, fellows, it did it in front of you. A very good file reduction, not just reduction, but repairing of the Excel file as well. Viruses and corruption. I think it's another very important topic because due to viruses and multiple corruptions in the file, the size of the file considerably increases automatically. And uh, this tool definitely helps you to recover those uh, big corrupted files and bring them down to a reasonable size. So I highly recommend to use the features of uh, um, Stellar uh, Excel Repair Toolkit to bring these huge size files down to a reasonable size. It's not just that you can fix those large size files, but also in a case if there is a, a corruption or there is a virus infecting your file and it's increasingly uh, getting higher in the size, this tool definitely will help. So I recommend this application to use it. As you can see, the evidence on your 
on your screens already. Use it and enjoy it. And please don't forget to share your feedback in the feedback section. You will see also description, uh, the link for the application over there. Go over there, download for free and test it for yourself. So as in the start, I was talking about some reasons um, that I would like to share. One of the primary reasons that I see while huge sizes is hidden worksheets. So if you have a lot of hidden worksheets, it, it is, you know, unnecessary and irrational reason to keep your Excel file very high. So you must keep it clean. So anything hidden over there must not be there. Um, another reason that I often see is... Um, using uh, ranges, multiple ranges, check the range. I mean, select the range that you really need to use for a pivot table, for a calculation, etc. And uh, the third reason that I see for having excessively large files is, is uh, having unnecessary formatting over there. So keep the formatting to very bare minimum and limited if your uh, Excel files are very high. Another reason that I see for, for the files for being excessively large is, is uh, external links that we have and even unused external links. So you don't have a link, but Excel is approaching those links to find the data. Eventually there's no data, but still Excel is running this exercise. It is really creating a lot of uh, work for Excel and also creating size, uh, which is very high uh, for, for your um, Excel. So remove unused charts, remove unused pivot tables. These are a few things that we don't consider, and then we have excessively high files uh, of Excel. Uh, using the Excel without getting crashed. I think this is, this is important for every one of us while we are using Excel to, to keep an eye on. First of all, uh, my tip will be that avoid using the formulas and functions which are uh, volatile. So vol volatile um, Excel formulas are basically increasing the size of your file and also creating a lot of problems for you. What are those volatile features? Um, R, A, and D, for example, RAND, RAND between, uh, today, um, offset, indirect, these kind of formulas are volatile. So if you don't need them, don't use them. This is my first suggestion. It will help you to avoid crashing your file. So um, for example, the second tip will be around the summary. So if you have created uh, summaries, use pivot tables for the summaries. Don't use formulas for the summaries of your files. I've seen excessively this, this functionality being misused that people are using functions, formulas to make a summary. Pivot tables are, are the best and you can include functionalities in there. So that's my second recommendation. If you want to avoid crashing your file, this is, uh, this is very important that you don't use um, um, functions and formulas for your uh, summaries. Pivot is, is a very good option. So if you're extracting data from multiple sources, then my recommendation, which is the third one, is to use Power Query. Power Query is very useful to connect multiple uh, queries, join them, and give you a consolidated view. So that's that's the best. So that that is my recommendation. One very basic tip, uh, and that's my fourth one: um, use Excel tabular data when you're working on Excel and making tables. Control T is a functionality. Use it, convert into table or insert table, make it table formula. It's it's easy for Excel to understand your data if it's in table or format. So use it and it will make you kind of a less crashing in your Excel. So this is this is one, one thing. Um, another thing that I believe is also very important that we should not, a lot of cross-referencing. This, a lot of cross-referencing helps actually to crash the file. So don't do that. Avoid it as much as you can, uh, the cross-referencing. And turn off the automatic calculation in your Excels. That is also something that is uh, bringing uh, crashing because the moment you click on open, it is going back and refreshing all the formulas and functions. And it sometimes if the data of the uh, file is too much, size of the file is too much, it will get crashed. So this is, this is my, let's say, uh, technique. You can go into the formula tab, just simply select the calculation options and make it non-automatic. So this was yet another tip. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Do share your feedback around this Stellar application. I really enjoyed it, and I'm hoping that you will also enjoy that. Um, and if you have any questions, do write the questions in the comment section, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. You can also go onto the Stellar website, and there there is a small uh, icon for chat. You can chat directly. You can speak with them over there. Uh, with this, I would log off now, but please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share your comments in the comment section. I would like to thank Stellar for uh, sponsoring our video today, and 
giving me a chance to spread this word to all of you and some very interesting tips and tricks with, with all of my subscribers. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.